Sonra It's your boy Mr. J. Cam And we back at it again man I had crews in the great city of Dallas, Texas You know what I'm saying Road's a little rough Blinker left on All that good stuff So we on a mission, you know, get some photos for the gram and it's out here riding and want to talk to y'all about the bike. But think, but first and foremost, man, I think MotoGP is going to get canceled due to this coronavirus. Italy just dropped a quarantine or something like that, man. So I was really looking forward to that. That's an event we had upcoming, but I'm not sure at this point if that's something that we're actually going to be able to do or not to be honest with you so time will tell on that but today i want to talk to y'all a little bit about some misconceptions about this r1 let's just make it a we're gonna call it my 3,000 mile review i've ridden the bike now a little bit over 3,000 miles on this one see people saying the R1's a bad bike for commuting, it's a bad bike for this, it's a bad bike for that, whatever. So that's some of the things that I just kind of want to talk to y'all about. Right off the bat, is it the most comfortable motorcycle out there? No, but really is any super sports besides maybe a BMW, which I've yet to ride. And I won't because of good old coronavirus. I'm not going to California Superbike School at Laguna Seca like I originally planned. I'm not getting on anybody's airplane right now. I'm sorry, I'm just not doing it. Is it a perfect bike to commute, commute with? No. But with a few minor adjustments, it's a very suitable commuter. At least for me. And that light was really green and they came through late as hell. Good thing I pay attention. in the end of Mr. J Cam right there y'all but I have rear stats on my bike I have uh, clip-ons and even different grips as you can see down there so if you can do all of that hey man you can ride this bike every day if you got the weather for it hi I would recommend it definitely would recommend uh I recommend it as a commuter then. I know it's supposed to be aerodynamic as possible, but there's no room under the seat. <laughs> I can tell you that. If you want to put anything under the seat that's bigger than, I don't know, a nine volt battery, good luck. I lost my registration. I couldn't put it under the seat. That was crazy, right? Get you some creature comforts like that. I mean, if you're into the heated grips and all that, I'm not really, so that's why I don't really care about that. But oh, are oh, you seeing the plate? God damn it, give me some fucking space. Well, they're having a party out here, ain't they? This shit is jumping. Ambulance on the corner and shit. Yeah, it's one of them crosswalks that I saw in the news. I don't know what the fuck this person's deal is in this Chrysler 300, but they're annoying. I think I might have to turn that way. I'm not sure. We'll see you here in a second. I got music going in my headphones too, so if I occasionally sing on this vlog, don't judge me. I'm an R&B dude, through and through, a lot of sing. This is a long ass red light, and it's slightly downhill too, I don't like how it's feeling in my wrist. You gotta get an ECU flash on it though, so it'll smooth out your throttle. Tuning. Much more commute friendly. That's the mural I'm looking for right there. Of course that sidewalk. Plan B. I don't know what 
plan B is actually. They got a line in the daytime? Are you kidding me? Well, this is a bad time to need gas. I'm gonna try and find some gas, like quick. But man, the battery sucks. My battery, like I said, I'm just crossed 3,000 miles today. Had to get, uh, had to replace it. Got a lightweight lithium battery. Bike starts up immediately though. I should get back on the tollway or go for a Harry Hines. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's not really what I want to do. I need to get right back off of here. Or I'm going to be walking it out on this vlog. Bottom line though, I'm being completely unbiased with you. Would I buy this bike just for commuting? Probably not. It's aggressive and it's racy. It's everything you want your super sport to be. I'm sorry, your super bike to be. Everything you want your super bike to be. Damn, Dallas, y'all got some badass roads out here, man. We gotta do better than this. Yep, 7-Eleven's down there. So we won't run out of gas, folks. One, so. I don't think it's your turn to walk, sweetie. This 7-Eleven doesn't have gas, god damn it. <laughs> me. Well, that one does though. Woo! Crisis the verdict, y'all. Alright, let me pull up in here. We'll do this whole gas thing and then I'll holler back at y'all in a second. You wanna get away? Southwest. <laughs> if you wanna commute on this bike though, you're gonna have to upgrade the seat. It's the most miles I've put in in one day in a long time. Maybe second or third most all time since I've had the bike in a day. And my ass cheeks are starting to tell me about it. They are not that happy. They are not too happy at all with me at the moment. All you rich people, do your aircraft start with a G? Go Gulfstream. This is actually where I need to go. Oh man, you gotta make sure you're not on the tank down here. Boy, that's your nuts. Daylight savings time got me too, y'all. I really thought <laughs> that it was supposed to be getting dark. Ain't it funny how you move the clock one hour, but sunset comes like three hours later and shit? Like, that is crazy. One of the things in life I'm yet to figure out. Oh, that's the lick for the photo right there. I bet you I'll pull up. I bet you I'll pull up. Over there and get me one. landing on my runway but it looks like there's a southwest 737 coming so that's the runway right there it's one three left at uh, dallas love i do believe hey what's up man i love it when the kids are enthusiastic when they see the bike all right i gotta find a spot where i can pull over and get this picture y'all know i love a good water shot what's been in a, a water shot a water shot with an airplane so we're going to find it and we're going to make this happen.